gaskets and O-rings for a minute. We said we have to be good plumbers, don't we? So what do plumbers use to seal up pipes? <coughs> Putty, O-rings, glue, those kind of things. So we, we won't use any glue, but we use O-rings and gaskets a lot. So when you're using, when you're using O-rings, make sure that you choose the correct O-ring. Make sure you use the correct O-ring. Okay? Exactly the right O-ring. If you use one that's too big or too little, it's probably going to leak. Alright? Install it on there. Be careful not to cut the O-ring when you're installing it. And always put a drop of lubricant on it. If it's a quick connect coupling, you put it back together and make sure it snaps. If it's a, if it's a bolted coupling, you want to make sure you put it back together and also that you torque it to the right torque. So if you, un, if you, if you assemble a bolted connection that's too loose, is it going to leak? Yes. If you assemble, assemble a bolted connection that's too tight, might it leak? Mm -hmm. Possibly, and you might round the threads off. So it's very important when you're bolting the AC system together that you torque them to the correct torque. So that means to look it up and use torque devices to tighten it up exactly right. That is very important because we got to be good plumbers, don't we? You didn't know I was going to talk about plumbing today when you came to class, did you? Well, I did. So O-rings, always replace, always use the right size, put a little lubricant on it, torque it back to the right torque. Some systems, like this one right here, use a lot of metal gaskets. This is a Chrysler system. It's got kind of an old Chrysler system, but there's still some of these out there. They're held together and sealed with metal gaskets. So don't reuse those. Always use new gaskets. So you'll have to match these up. And there's various shapes and sizes of metal gaskets. So you'll get new ones. And these go together dry. Do not lubricate these gaskets. So you take your old gasket off, you wipe down the area, make sure it's clean and flat, you put your new gasket on it, you reassemble it, and you tighten it back down to the correct torque. Alright? So that's how you deal with the metal gaskets. Other vehicles use these devices right here. They're kind of in between. It's got metal and rubber. It's a, I call it a ceiling ring. And typically where this would go would be where the, the lines bolt to the compressor. That line is a lot of times called a suction discharge line. Because it's a suction line on one side, <coughs> the line coming into the compressor is the suction, the line leaving the compressor is the discharge. So a lot of times you'll use these metal ceiling washers when you're doing that. These to go, go on flat and you can, you can lubricate the rubber part just with a little bit of lubricant if you want to. But make sure you take the old one off, wipe it down, make sure it's dry and flat, and then just a little bit of lubricant on the rubber will be okay. Alright?